Hello guys, welcome back, it's Logical as always, and today we're going to be covering the Giant Crusher. Now, I'm going to have to bring this up really quickly, because we have actually had to rejig my quality build to be able to run this weapon. Now, the reason for that being is the fact that it requires 60 strength, and me being a dum-dum haven't, hasn't actually finished my strength build. It's kind of crept up on me, so I kind of apologise for that. This is not my strength build, this is my quality build, just rejigged it to a strength build, and that is my reasoning for why this is all happening. So it is. But other than that there, we are going to be using the giant crusher today, so we are, and... Oh, crap. Right. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe, because this is this is going to be an interesting one. Right, so the weapon art comes with... Sorry. The weapon comes with Endure as its weapon art that's immediately going to be shifted, because Endure is useless. It's a pure physical damage weapon, with a standard crit. Baseline, it comes with a B in strength, so it does, so that's not bad. But then we already know that this is the strongest PvE weapon in the game, and it also requires, well, 60 strength. And that is why I have rejigged my build to have 60 strength. You're only ever going to use this weapon on a strength build. It's kind of the given. So it is. Um, other than that there, let's take a look at its damage. We've already cycled through everything, I believe. 747 one-handed damage. That is absolutely absurdity. Two-handed is 834. So you can sort of see why this is the strongest weapon baseline. Now, again, what you have to remember is, is the fact that it does come... The, everybody already has infinite knowledge about this weapon because it's already been used. It's already been performed with. But it's a PvE weapon. It's a colossal. But yes, yeah, so you can tell that its damage is rather absurd. But then look at the size of the damn thing. The only other really unique thing, particularly whenever it comes to this weapon, is its heavy attack. That is more or less it. Uh, that is the only really unique thing about this weapon, is its unique heavy. Other than that there, everything else is identical from the looks of it. Um, I have used it. I say I haven't finished my strength build, so that would be why. But yes, it is primarily identical. I would like to land the heavy attack in PvE, but we already know that's not going to happen. Um, so on that there, we have the quality of the Thunderbolt Mizu Cord. This is going to be shifted over onto a strength. Like a strength. Infusion. Infusion. It's currently on quality. It's going to be changed over to strength for this video as well. Um, obviously, Thunderbolt's just in case somebody's being particularly annoying. And then the Mizu Cord itself is in case anybody needs a particularly good rib tickling. It's purely up to them. So it is after that there, we've got the Albaneric Shield, this is mostly just for fashion, as well as carrying our Golden Parry. Speaking of fashion, we've got the Fingerprint Helm, Black Knife Armor, Malformed Dragon Gauntlets, and the Fire Prelate Greaves. For our Talismans, due to the sheer weight of this weapon, at 26.5, um, we need the Great Jar's Arsenal. At the same time, I also had to ruthlessly, up, like I had to pull everything that I had in my Dexterity and pump it into my Endurance. Well, anything that I had left over from the 60 Strength, that is. I had to pump it into endurance to make sure that I was actually able to use this weapon, which is still insane. After that, there we get the Volgo Talisman. This is primarily just so I can trade with it if needed. That's not a good idea. After that, there we get the Air Tree Flavor Plus 2 and the Crimson Armor Medallion. Them two are more or less self explanatory. So, yes, let's go actually have a gander at the weapon arts. Right, so what do we. What, 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 what do we want right now? We already know Lion's Claw is savagely busted, but it comes with an S in strength. So that kind of gives you a fantastic idea of how actually brutal this weapon is. Just going to make that very clear. Now, most people that use this weapon normally tend to pair it with Stormstop. Quite frankly, piss off. Um, other than that there, I am a good, f I, am, I am an avid fan of Golden Land, so I am. Village Charge could also be a very nice option if you want to go that way. There's a lot of very strong options whenever it comes to this weapon, in fairness. But what we're going to go with is we're going to go with the tried and tested Golden Land. We're going to use the standard off the bat first because of, well, reasons. And we're going to stick that on a strength setup, even though we're still going to lose a lot of damage on it. But anyway... The general idea is, let's go see if we can make some pancakes, shall we? Our first opponent, it's a big fella. Well, no, it's not a big fella. Dude doesn't have enough of a poison I'm using a big weapon. Ooh, health and steeple, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, the roll catch, holy fuck. Ooh, 
Oof. The health and staple does damage, guys. Oh! Oh! Dude's good. But, uh, <laughs> but apparently great swords are brain dead nowadays, according to some of the guys that I talked to. So, yeah, definitely proved it. Alright, what am I against? I can't even see my opponent claws. Ooh, very nice. This should be interesting at least. Claw a claw and a whip, to be exact. Okay. This should be interesting. Come on, dude. Not happening. Oh my god, is this all you're going to do? Fine then. Oh! I will take that. Dude, all you're doing is... And a bloodhound's fine. And a bloodhound's fine. Right, hang on. I want to see if I can pull this off. Do the weapon art, please. I need him to do the weapon art. Technically, I need him to do the follow-up for the weapon art. Oh, no! Come on! I think he knows what I want. Oh! <laughs> the spacing was clean! I may have not got what I wanted, but that was beautiful! Hey, more claws! Wow, claws are calm. Hello! Are you going to start slinging incantations at me? Yeah, you are. Okay, right. You've landed, right, now that you've landed that, are you going to actually fight me or are you going to run away? Absolutely, that's not happening, dude. Oh, you're lagging too. Right, either you. Oh, yeah, you are lagging. Fuck, that's not particularly good for me. Come on! I'm gonna pancake you if you're not careful. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what the, f I don't even know, I don't know what the frack. Ooh, big hammer, big ha hammer versus hammer. Let's see which one wins. You've got a big fucking hammer, I've got a big fucking hammer. Let's see. I want to try and land the, the Giga Pancake though. Aww. Oh, you messed up, dude. <laughs> oh, GG, sir. That was beautiful, dude. Absolutely beautiful. I will take it. Against Mage. Shit. Hello. Asian, Asian, Yaku. Asian, Yaku, right. What is it you've got? Uchi or Moonbill? Moonbill. Oh, oh you're lagging too, sir. Oh, what? Uh, yeah. The lag's real on this one, anyway. <laughs> Dude was lagging so much. <laughs> oh, the lag. Right, oh, my. Oh, now Bloodhound's fine. Okay. Interesting. 
It should, be, it should be in person, but apparently no manners is a thing these days. Okay, how the fuck did I fuck that one? Are you trying to just backstab fish me or something? Okay, there's definitely some shenanigans going on today. Okay. Oh yeah, there's shenanigans. Ah! <laughs> okay, there's weapons just big beefy and it hits hard. Need the need for parries are out the window whenever you're using this thing. No, not quality. God damn it, heavy. Oh, that 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 last one tickled me. That's all I gotta say. Right, one hundred seven ninety nine. Ooh, okay then, seven ninety nine. So we're one point off eight hundred. What are we gonna do? Nine hundred and eleven. Jesus, that is big fucking damage. That's all pure raw physical damage, mate. And the thing is. If you don't already know, you get the two hand bonus. So if we instead had instead of having sixty strength, if we had sixty six strength, technically we have ninety nine strength. Like that, there's the insane point of this. Right, what am I against? I see a crossbow. Hello, sir. With what weapon? Oh, a shotel. Is that a shotel or the explosives? He, he's just using a crossbow quite na naturally, actually. I'm kind of impressed with that. Hmm. He is using the flowing sword, okay. Give you credit for using the flowing sword, like that. that's that's a ballsy move. So it is. Oh wow. This dude's actually not too bad on the slip and slide so he isn't. Oh! Oh GG sir! You're not too bad on the slip and slide. But I think you got a bit greedy on the trading. Right, what am I against? Hey oh shah! Is that a sword? Is that the golden epitaph I see? Oh, I know what you're doing, you're going to buff with the golden epitaph. Yeah, this thing, yeah. This thing gives you an insane amount of damage on the, uh, thing. Uh, gives you an insane holy buff. Oh, I fucked up. It gives you insane damage on the uh, on the holy on the holy damage side of things. It's an insane holy buff. Oh! follow-up R1. Damn it! I knew I shouldn't have done it, but I did. Ah, it's choppy again. So far, I haven't found a need to parry. Just using Big Bad and Ugly here is just absolutely hilarious. But this, I, this dude's just playing slippy. Dude's really fucking slippy now. I think he's just gotten the hang of it he has. Oh, 
fly you in for a uh, party to fucking bolt, apparently. Oh my god, he is as slippy as they come. <sighs> yeah, I'm not getting killed by that shit anytime soon, yeah. I give him credit for his playstyle. His playstyle is definitely interesting, like... Oh, I fucked that one up. Oh, fuck that one up. I dodged that one, though. Oh, well done, GG. He spaced me to perfection. I will take it. There's no tracking on that at all. Oh. Sorry, did I had a, I had a phone call, dude. Uh, I'm confused why we're bowing. I was in the middle of a phone call, so I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Okay, um, so that was fun. I do apologize for muting the first half of that um, fight because, um, yeah, but you just, what? Did I miss something? He just bowed to me and then fired his PlayStation out the window. I'll take it. I don't care. I'll take it. Thank you very much, dude. Um, so, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Um, uh, hang on, wait there. What's my opinion of the weapon before I exit this any quicker than I physically want to? How did the weapon perform? Um, honestly, it's it's fun. It's just not fun whenever you're fighting cheese boys. Make sense? I hope it does. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, I shall see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.